viewers welcome to my channel I'm Hashem Ali Khan in this video I'm going to explain you the topic correlation analysis which is a topic of business statistics one so it's a very short video in this video I'm going to explain you the meaning of the term correlation the significance or importance of correlation types of correlation methods of calculating correlation so a theory question may be asked in examination regarding this correlation so I'm making a small video so that students after watching this video they can be able to attempt the theory question on correlation so first of all the meaning of the term correlation correlation is a statistical technique which is applied to find the relationship between two variables there are many cases where there exists some relationship between two variables so in order to find out whether relationship exists or not what is the nature of relationship and what is the degree of relationship to find out that we apply correlation statistical method simple example I'll give you like uh, price and demand there is relationship according to the law of demand when the price increases demand decreases there is relationship there is relationship similarly we have the case of income and investment as the income of the people increases investment will also increase similarly the price of commodities and the demand for that commodities so many instances are there another example best example I can give you advertisement and sales by giving more advertisement the sales will increase if you have less advertisement sales may, be no, may not be much so in this way there are many instances where we have some relationship to find out that relationship whether it is positive relationship or negative relationship whether it is high degree relationship or low degree we apply the technique called correlation analysis that is the meaning of the term correlation so what is the significance importance of this correlation this technique is very very important because by applying this correlation analysis we can be able to take the decision what is the cause and effect relationship between the two variables so in decision making this technique will be very widely used apart from that the correlation analysis will be used for further statistical techniques like regression in regression also we can use the correlation analysis so there are many application areas where we can use this correlation analysis now I'm coming to the next topic called types of correlation correlation are of different types like positive and negative positive or negative correlation positive correlation means when both the variables are moving in the same direction when x variable is moving upward y will also is moving upward there is a positive correlation simple example the best example of this is let us uh, take the uh, example of uh, price of uh, agricultural goods and rainfall when rainfall is good agricultural production will also be good similarly when income of the people increases the uh, the savings investment of the people will also increase similarly when more expenditure is incurred on advertisement more will be the sales both are moving in the same direction it's called positive some cases we have negative correlation where one variable is increasing the other variable is coming down decreasing opposite direction that is called negative example price and demand when the price increases the demand decreases there's an inverse relationship between price and demand that is negative correlation next comes linear or non-linear relationship linear means proportional that means the percentage change in x variable is exactly equal to the percentage change in y variable example if we increase the advertisement by 10 percent the sales are also increasing by 10 percent though we can say it's a linear relationship but in real practice we will seldom come across this linear relationship normally relationship will be non-linear non-linear means the proportion that the proportionate change in one variable will not be equal to the proportionate change in another variable. example when we increase the advertisement by 10 percent our sales are increasing by 20 percent so we can say there is non-linear relationship of correlation next comes simple or uh, simple or multiple correlation simple correlation means when there is a correlation only between two factors only between two factors it's called simple correlation multiple correlation means one factor is affected by not other factor but a number of other factors example the demand 
the demand the sale does not depend only on the price price is not the only factor which affects the sales apart from price a number of other considerations are also there the quality the income of the people the competition a number of factors are there which affects the sales so simple correlation means when there are only two factors we are finding out correlation between two variables multiple correlation we are finding out what the other number of factors which affects the other variable next comes partial or total correlation partial means when we are taking only few variables example the x variable is affected by a number of factors but we are considering only few factors and finding out what is the effect on x example sales are affected by a number of n number of factors but we are selecting only three factors to find out what is the effect of these three factors on sales it's a partial if we take all the factors into consideration what is the effect on sales by considering a number of all factors that is called total correlation in this way these are the different types. in examination you may be asked what do you mean by positive correlation negative correlation what do you mean by linear non-linear or what are the different methods or types of correlation you can write this now methods of calculating correlation broadly we have different methods of calculating correlation i'll explain you only three here scatter diagram method carl pearson method and spearman's rank correlation method first scatter diagram method it's a graphic method where on x-axis we take one variable on y-axis we take another variable example on x-axis we have taken the advertisement y-axis we have taken the sales we plot all the points denoting the pair of advertisement and sales how much advertisement we have spent and how much sales we got like this we have a number of pairs by plotting all the points on the graph paper we can be able to judge what is the relationship if all the points are moving upward we can, we can say there is positive correlation between advertisement and sales if all the points are moving downward we can say there is a negative relationship between advertisement and sales if all the points are scattered throughout the graph paper there is no correlation like that next is Carl Pearson the most commonly used famous method of finding out the correlation coefficient is Carl Pearson according to Carl Pearson the correlation where the correlation coefficient will range from minus 1 to plus 1 minus 1 to plus 1 the correlation coefficient will never be less than minus 1 nor more than plus 1 if it is minus 1 it means perfectly negative correlation if it is plus 1 it's perfectly positive correlation if it is minus 1 it denotes that the relationship between the two variables are completely opposite if x variable is decreasing by 10% y variable is increasing by 10% exactly same then we'll get minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 if both the variables are moving at the same rate in the same direction if x variable is increasing by 10% y variable is also increasing by 10% positive correlation if the correlation value is 0 that means there is no relationship at all between the two variables so this coefficient of correlation will be statistically calculated by using a formula by Carl Pearson and that formula will take into account the mean values and standard deviation so there are different method formulas for calculating correlation according to Carl Pearson method you go to the video of correlation problems you can I have solved so many problems on Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient one formula is when deviations are taken from actual mean so this formula will be applied when deviations are taken from actual mean the two values are given x values are given y values are given we calculate the mean value if the mean value is in whole number if the mean value is in whole number take the deviations from actual mean and apply this formula if the actual mean is in fraction then take an assumed mean and take the deviations from assumed mean and apply this formula to get Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient next comes probable error probable error is a method of interpreting the value of r correlation r is a symbol of correlation so to interpret the value of r we apply probable error the formula for probable error is 0.6745 into 1 minus r square by under root n this formula so 
after calculating PE value, we have to interpret the value of R, whether R value is significant or not significant. Then conclusion is, if R value is less than PE, if correlation coefficient is less than probable error, then R value is not at all significant. We cannot rely on the value of R because R is less than P. If R is more than six times of PE, we are 100% sure R is completely significant. Similarly, if the value of PE is added and subtracted to R value, we'll get a range. In that range, the actual value of R will lie. That is the interpretation of probable error. In examination, you may be asked a theory question regarding what is probable error. It's a technique of interpreting the value of R, whether R is significant or insignificant. Formula is this one. And by after calculating PE, we compare the PE with R value. If R is less than PE, it is not at all significant. If R is more than six times of PE, it is completely significant. Similarly, we can find out the range within which the value of R will lie. That means deducting PE from R and adding PE to R will get a range. That's it. Next comes Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. One more method is that for calculating correlation coefficient given by Spearman. One point you have to remember, Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient will be applied when we have quantitative data, quantitative measurable data. Sometimes we come across the data where it is not quantitative, it is qualitative. In that case, we cannot apply Carl Pearson. Example, the honesty, beauty, efficiency, health. These things are there which we cannot measure it. We can feel, but we cannot measure the beauty. We cannot measure the beauty. We cannot measure the efficiency. We cannot measure the honesty. So these variables are there which we can feel qualitative. So if you want to find out the correlation between qualitative data, we apply Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So in this Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, we give the ranks to the data. To the data, we give the ranks. Simple example, in a beauty contest, some two judges are, the, uh, are giving the ranks for each participant. So we want to find out whether the taste of beauty between the two judges are same or not. So ranks are uh, applied to the, uh, to the contestants. And if there is a correlation between ranks, then we can say there is correlation between the data. So what uh, two methods are there? The first method, when the ranks are not repeated, all the ranks are unique. In that case, RS is equal to 1 minus 6 summation D square by N cube minus N. D stands for difference between the two ranks. Difference between the two ranks. By using this formula, again, we can be able to get the coefficient of correlation. The conclusion, the interpretation will be same. The value will range from minus 1 to plus 1 for Spearman also. If ranks are not repeated, this formula. If ranks are repeated, then this formula will be applied. That means RS is equal to 1 minus 6 summation D square plus 1 by 12 M cube minus M plus 1 by 12 M cube minus M. So, so as many pairs are there, repeated ranks, so many times we have to add up the factor 1 by 12 M cube minus M plus 1 by 12 M cube minus M, so on and so forth, divided by M cube minus M. So this formula will be applied when we follow when we have repeated ranks that's all so to have a good command on the problems go to the video where i have already uploaded the problems on correlation coefficient after solving the problems definitely you can be able to get a command on this topic so in this video i have explained you the theory regarding correlation methods of uh, types of correlation significance methods so this discussion will be helpful to you in attempting the theory question in examination.